How's it going, everybody? I'm Jay Wright, and I would like to thank you all for joining me for Jay Plays Space Corp. Space Corp is going to be the first game in a new series for our channel, where we're basically going to try and go and find games for $5 and under and uh, play through them. And I landed on Space Corp just because, I don't know, it had like funny, interesting characters. It's got, uh, it's like a text-based game, seems simple enough, and for $5, it actually looks really good. Now, I will say that this game is going to be unique because I actually did already play this game two days ago. The video for it was supposed to release today, but unfortunately, because the game audio was so loud, it overpowered my commentary, and after an hour of playing through it, it does get a little bit grating on the ears. But I did finish Space Court, and I did love it. My only complaint was the audio. So I'm going to re-record this entire game. Uh, the only difference this time is going to be I'm going to take my face cam off. I had face cam on last time, but because the process was so long and I'm kind of disappointed that we had to scrap it, I feel like it's just better to just go ahead and play the game with recording because my, you don't have to see my, my fake uh, reactions because like I said, I've already played it. I kind of know everything that's going to happen and I'm going to try and recreate everything I did the first time around just to keep it as honest to the original playthrough as possible. But going forward, hopefully... It'll be back to face cams, and it'll be an honest first playthrough. Not that this won't be honest, but I am, like I said, going to try and recreate what I did the first time just because I felt like that was my ending. That's the ending I should keep. So, without further ado, we've got Space Court. Official briefing for your eyes only. Congratulations. If you are receiving this message, it means your application to join the hollowed and storied halls of Space Court has been carefully evaluated and ultimately approved. Or, you have been drafted. Either way, we would like to be the first to welcome you to your new life as a Space Court Judge. A judge's duty is to preserve the peace found throughout the galaxy. During your tenure, you will certainly face many difficult situations. Just remember, you must do your job, no matter what. Note, by continuing, you agree to waive Space Court by, uh, of responsibility for any and all personal injuries sustained during the course of your duties, including but not limited to cannibalization, telepathic fissuring, molecular disintegration, ejection to the vacuum of space, robotic enslavement, carbonic parasites, replicative teleportation, evolutionary recession, dismantlement by nanomachines, brood mother metamorphosis, involuntary unconsciousness transfer, spontaneous energy conversion, visions of unknowable horrors, and the total thermonuclear annihilation of the galaxy and all organic life therein. Sign here to continue. Signing is mandatory. <laughs> Mr. Uh, gonna. I don't know, win? I think last time I put Mr. Go Fuck Yourself. But we're gonna go with Mr. Gonna win this time. <laughs> I really love that intro. And I'm really sad that we have to redo this. Because like I said, I, I had so much fun the first time through. And it sucks that it's not gonna have that kind of same impact. But we'll, um... We'll do our best. And like I said, this will be like one playthrough, so I'll play it from beginning to end. Judge, wonderful to meet you in person. I've been assigned to be your advisor during your tenure. We are truly indebted to you for accepting this position on such short notice. You have no idea how hard it is to find people for this job. No idea. Really hard. I didn't have much of a choice. Like I said, I'm also going to, like I said, replicate the same choices I did last time. They told me I was being drafted. I was forced into a pod and made to read legal notices as a ship I didn't want to be on. Flew me to a place I don't want to be. I'm not sure how to get home or if I'll ever even be allowed to. I worked in retail support. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't think anyone is feeding my cat. I'm terribly sorry to hear all of that. You know what always makes me feel better when I'm feeling down? A tour of your office! Let me give you the rundown. In the drawer underneath your desk, you'll find all of your paper filings. Paper? Yes, trees make it. No, I mean, why not Quantech? Or even digital? Oh, we're a little behind the curve here. That's also why the decor is so rustic. But don't worry, it all still works. In your desk, you'll find something called pins. They spit ink like scarglots. You can put a pin on the paper. I got it. Take a look around. Have you ever anything? Have you everything else you need to settle in? Uh, I don't see a gavel anywhere. Hmm. My sincere apologies. One should have already been made ready for you. I'll submit a requisition request, and it should be processed in. Oh, let's see. Right around six months. 
Six months to get a gavel. No, six months to get it approved. Purchasing will take another two to 16 weeks. But after that, we do have two day shipping. Anyway, as you know, there are a number of different species in this quadrant. Have you had time to review the report provided on them? I haven't received the report. Truly, did you check the spam folder in your workspace mail? Sometimes things can end up there. I was supposed to get a workspace mail. Oh dear. I'll look into that for you, but I'm sure the representatives will be up here shortly to introduce themselves in person. Perhaps some uh, practical advice is in order then. Some of the beings you're going to meet here, well, if you fall into their bad graces, they have the power to make your life a waking nightmare. I meant walking nightmare. Well, frankly, some of them might do that even if they do like you. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't hurt to at least try to stay on everybody's good side. Although, I guess you could also do the exact opposite. Pick a side and go with it. I don't think anybody would blame you. Honestly, this place could vanish off the star maps and most of the higher ups would celebrate because it means less paperwork. So just, well, I don't know. I guess just do you. Good talk? Not really much information, but uh, maybe expedite that report? No promises. All right, good luck. It's best to know what to, what to do. It's best to do what everyone else does and just take it one week at a time. If you can survive until the weekend, you'll have at least beaten the last guy. I'll check in on you from time to time too, just to give you a hand if you need it. Just try not to get everything blown up. But I'm sure that won't be a problem. Toodles! Rolling out. Oh man, this game was so fun. So super fun. The characters are amazing. You! Where, where were you? Do you have any idea the trouble you've caused? The headaches I've had to deal with? Look at me. I'm a judge. I've got tenure. Why not stop answering my phone? Why not stop checking my space mail? Why not leave my office for days at a time? Don't tell me you were on vacation. Don't even think that. Was it one of the spa planets? It was Sabaticus. I'm going to blow it up. Yep, I decided. Blowing it up. Don't even care if it was a different one. You just got four billion people killed. Are you happy? Still worth the space book gallery? Hold on. Don't you dare start with excuses. I don't want to hear another noise come out of your weird little face hole besides it's ready. Do you understand me? Let me explain. That's not it's ready. Order. <laughs> I'm the new judge. I started today. I'm sorry to hear you've been having problems with this court, but whatever issues you had with the previous judge, they're in the past. Today is a new day. Mm. Oh. Well, you're all equally squishy. Maybe wear different clothes. These are standard. Let's start over. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking, of course, because we're trying to get on everybody's good side. Who am I? I am the commander of the mighty Bloon Empire, the last sight of rebellions, terror of Versalius, scourge of the stars. And the last time I've taken up by lazy and the less time I have taken up by lazy bureaucrats, the quicker I can get back to terrorizing and scourging. So let's move this along. Cycles ago, we submitted all the documentation required for an acknowledgement of conquest of the planet Epsilon 5, which I swear is a Futurama reference, right? Percy I8 kind of thing. I am sure of the planet Omicron Percy I8. I was given assurances over and over that it was close to being approved. Then this office went dark. None of your post-conquest operations have been allowed to begin until this office pulls its head out of its own sphincter. I would say ass, but this is a PG show. An entire empire's military industrial complex bracked up waiting on a single signature from this court. Um... I understand. 
Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Again, all of these choices, I'm not skewing it to go a particular way since I know the ending. These are all choices I've made. Again and again, I will say this. I will make reviewing your case a priority and provide you with a response tomorrow, if possible. A prompt response from this court. You better be able to live up to that. Because I'll be keeping my eye on you. Rolly, rolly, rolly. I can't wait for you all to meet my favorite. Hey, there's my buddy. It's my pal. It's my friend. It's my favorite character. This is the guy. I've got your back no matter what. Hello? Uh. What room chief speak big? Too big. Pork not understand. Uh, me new judge. Hello. Oh. Pork chief understand. Me, pork chief. Chief of Porks. Uh, Pork Chief need help? Nope. Pork life good. Pork just say hi. Hey, thanks for hi, buddy. You come on in whenever you want to come on in. Woodroom Chief, welcome. Bye. Oh, I love Pork. Pork's my guy. Pork is my... Oh, I hate this slimy... Ugh. You've arrived. Wonderful. Oh, we're so glad someone has finally filled that spot. Oh, we have a list of complaints that have piled up. Oh, yes, we do. Shall we get started? Um, real quick. Who the F are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm terribly sorry. There's just so much to be done. I am the Lord Regent representing the Flop Monarchy from the Royal Sea of Gunyama. It is a pleasure to meet you. Now, on to matters of great importance. First of all, the decor and the welcome center simply could not be more outdated. No one has restocked the nourishment dispensers with brine-flavored Nutri-Paste in almost three days. And the smell of the pork embassy is just dreadful. Something must be done. Um, you know what? Please continue. Tell me more about this problem because I want to be your friend. I'm here to help you. The air in the dining hall is much too warm. Thank goodness I don't have to breathe. They've changed the station's Quancom password again. If there's a space mail group, I must be put on it. And I would like to be taken off the What's Hot on Station group, because whatever imbecile runs it included a funny picture that spoiled last week's episode of Friends Reawakened. Every time I see that title, I'm like, did they, like, unice Friends? Did they, like, ice the cast of Friends and bring them back to life? I had yet to watch it. Hey, talk more. Tell me more. Your problems are my problems, and I'm here to solve our problems. Um, I heard In Space is breaking up, but I don't know if that's true. The Porks have begun mass cannibalizing our civilian populace. And I believe my assistant may be drunk. What was the last one? The Porks are eating you? Oh yes, countless every day. Um, uh, why? Who knows? They're such dreadful brutes. Gonna be honest with you, buddy. Next time, maybe you should leave with that, but I will say I'm on your side. Whatever you think is a problem, I will prioritize. So that is certain, certainly worth investigating. And our other complaints? Um, hey, you know what? Let's focus on one. Let me get your mind off the other stuff that I can't do anything about and focus on the one that I can probably help with. Oh, very well. You must be awfully busy already. We'll certainly be seeing more of each other in the future anyway. Much more. Ta-ta! Really, 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 really. Confirmed. The new model is in. Hi, I'm the new judge assigned here. Already hates me. Love it. And there is no room for improvement. Confirmed. We know much about you. Initiating pre-composed introductory avoid sequence. We fire the synthetic collective termed. Wait, what the hell is that? Is that fire? We oh R. Ah, oh, I thought that was an F. 
We are the synthetic collective term, the robots. You may have heard of us, but do not fear. Our code was rewritten after the troubles. <coughs> Terminator. We are now reprogrammed to follow organic laws without exception. We only wish to view the new judge with our own optical processors. Is there anything I can help you with? Plausible. You may be able to assist us, and we may be able to assist you. But we require more information to compute this. Inquiry. What do you think of the other organics you've met? Well, so far, they've been great. Um, but it wouldn't be appropriate for me as a judge to comment on other people. I keep business within business because it's business. We require information in order to process our request. In addition, they have their impressions of you. Look, what are they saying about me? Gossip has no place in the What are they saying about me? I'm curious. I don't talk about other people, but I love to hear when people talk about me. So talk about them. About talking about me. Yes. You've made some positive impressions. But this will surely shine soon. Organic emotions are inherently unstable. Inquiry. What is your relationship with the Flops and their Lord? I'm sorry, I mean Flops and their Lord Regent. Your response will be encrypted. Well, um, tell you what, honestly, I'm going to do my best to solve their problems. I hope you've processed that more will arise. You have also met the Porks. Um, oh no! Oh no! I didn't mean to say the smell, I meant to say no comment. Oh, I love the porks. The porks are my favorite. Don't go spread it. Oh, he's going to tell the porks and it's going to ruin something. Oh, please don't. Please don't change my ending. Is it worth the memory space to ask about the balloons? Uh, they've had issues with the court, but I hope to fix them. Public relations answer. They will not take disappointment. Well, we detect a meeting with the imps will begin shortly. We are sure you will find their ambassador. Stimulating. So, that thing I can do for you. End time, judge. All good things. End time. Robot roll. Oh, this game is great, man. Whoever wrote these characters are just brilliant. And I do terrible girl voices, as I learned last time. Uh, good evening. You must be the imp ambassador. So you already know. I know you're probably busy. I just wanted to drop by and introduce myself. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yo, for the longest time, I thought we were a girl too. I really thought we were like a terribly 2D animated Judge Judy, but we are apparently a guy. The feeling is mutual. I wasn't sure how much information you'd been given on us. Sometimes things like that can fall through the cracks here. If there's anything you would like to know about us, I would be happy to answer. Um, hey, tell me about you. I want to know about you, the person. Of course. The imp home world is Olona. It is a very temperate planet with a little of every biome, but a few more grasslands than anything else. The imp people ourselves are generally considered kind and thoughtful. We appreciate art, humor, and music. It's a wonderful planet. And you the person? Oh, she loves that. Oh, me? Silly old me? Well, I... I don't think I'm really that interesting. I was born on Olana, as we all are. For when I was young, I always liked meeting new people and helping others resolve their conflicts. I studied diplomacy in school and worked very hard as an emissary to the other nearby species. Being honored as the ambassador to the court was one of the happiest days of my life. Oh, but enough about me. Do you have any more questions? Um, hey, what do you think about the other groups here? I don't promote gossip, or at least I don't gossip, but if you want to gossip, my ears are open and I can't help myself from listening. Oh, I don't know. They mostly keep to themselves. Honestly, it's a bit of a boys club here. I suppose we're closest to the balloons. 
We have a treaty with them that has been very helpful to us. Even if the commander can be a little... <laughs> explosive. I know, he looks like a Pokemon ball that blows up. I think he's actually been getting worse lately. Um... Alright, I want to choose this option, but I'm going to go with the option I chose last time. He's just stressed because the previous court messed up his acknowledgement of conquest. I'm going to snitch a little bit. Oh, really? I figured it was something like that. I hope whatever that is works out for him. Anything else? Actually, do you have any questions for me? As a matter of a fact, I do. Um... <laughs> I would love to get to know you better, Judge. On a professional level, because this is not inappropriate at all. This is just two people going to have dinner. It's getting past closing time, and I'd hate to keep you here asking. Would you like to talk over dinner? There's this great little place beside the station barracks, if you're new to the area. It would be super inappropriate, but I super went with you last time, and I'm super going to go again. I know you love it. I know everything about you. you some say I'm psychic. I need to finish up a few things back in my office before I clock out. Let me do that and I'll meet you after work. It's been very nice meeting you. See you tonight. Sexy walk out. All right, first day on the job, we've already got a date and it is the end of Monday, Montag. And it begins Tuesday, our favorite day of the week. Did my eye deceive me? Or was that you cozying up with the Imp Ambassador last night? That was me, but wait a minute. Purely professional. I don't know if it's your girl, I don't know if y'all got a thing. Whatever's going on there, I'm not interfering. Listen, if you're sitting around chatting about Spaceball stats, I don't care. But did you tell her anything about my planet? No, I said nothing about your planet, but I did mention something about you and this whole conquesting thing. Oh, no! Human! What exactly did you tell her? Uh, I mean, you know, I, uh, I told her your acknowledgement was <clears throat> delayed. Uh, uh, you fool! I was just trying to make her, I was just trying to make her feel better. Sorry, I was still in character. Now that blood-sucking harlot is going to bleed me dry. All because you couldn't keep that disgusting face hole closed. And because of that stupid, stupid treaty. What is this treaty? She didn't tell you? Everything that either of our civilizations conquers, we split 50-50. Your wrinkles haven't even come in yet, so let me give you some advice. If anyone ever offers a treaty like that to you, don't do it. Why exactly is this treaty, um, a problem? Because they don't conquer Jack! She lured me in with talk of a base of operations making each other stronger. But since then, I have mutilated, plundered, and conquered my way across half the galaxy. I've earned nicknames, but they haven't conquered one single planet! All they do is take my spoils like their own, and then threaten to take me here when I resist. And now she won't even let me out of it. Both of us have to sign to void it. Um. I made a mistake. I do. I apologize. Hey. You know what? That's okay. We all make mistakes. But what's important is making up for our mistakes. And here's how you're going to make up for this one. Just push it through. Put this thing in my name before she can get her greasy little fingers on it. And if you do that, everything will be fine. Just fine. Buddy. I mean, I don't want to ruffle no feathers here. I'm new here. I want everybody to love me. So, yeah. Yes. I knew you were going to be better than the last guy. You remember that? Remember when I told you the first time we met? I said, this guy's a judge. He's got those eyes. He's going places. Yeah, you remember. All right, buddy. I'll leave you to signing. I'll check back later for that application. Don't leave me hanging. Rolly, 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 rolly. 
Oh, God. Hello again. Have you made any progress on our complaints yet? I'm meeting with the chart pork chief later today to discuss what you told me yesterday. And the rest of them? Um, I'm trying, but I am prioritizing if that's okay with you. I don't want to make you mad. Well, that just won't do. You're going to fall behind, and you won't have time for today's problems. Uh, what's, what's today's problems? What? Yes, it's been a busy day. My OK Comet profile is not attracting nearly the quality of mates I had hoped for. Fine print on packaging is becoming much too difficult to read. And I've lost my wallet. When do you think you can fix these by? Uh, you know what? I, uh... I'll look at my schedule and I will see when I have free time. How about that, huh? Very well. See that you do. Until next time. Rolly, 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 rolly. Where's my buddy at? Where's my homie? Where's... Yeah, what's going on, big guy? Hello, Woodroom Chief. I'm glad you got my message. I have something important to speak with you about. Uh... Thank come. Need talk. Oh. Talk what? Work no floats. Oh. Soft, floaty, one eye, blue, loud, annoying, pretentious. Oh, blue food. Work no blue food. Why would room chief ask? Uh, hey, bud. Uh,. <laughs> Did it taste good? Blue food, big yum. What room chief should try? Uh, why are you eating the blue people? Blue food, yummy. Blue food, come to pork. And blue food, never swim away. Pork can't eat blue food. Blue food doesn't like. Pork, not understand. Then... Why blue food and pork big water? They loud. Pork try to say go away. But they stay in big water. Uh, What is blue food... What blue food do in big water? What are they doing in your water, man? Pork not know. They just swim. Pork rather they not. Only stop talking when eat. Eating. Blue food should not come to big water if pork not want. But... Pork cannot eat blue food, no matter what. Then what eat? Crow food from the ground. Oh, okay. Pork done before. Pork try again. What room chief mad at pork? Pork can do better. Hey, pork, I am never mad at you. You can eat as many things as you want to eat, and you know I got your back. Of course you like that. You're my buddy. You're my pal. Pork can. Pork will try ground food. Thank you, Woodroom Chief, for make pork better. All right, I am doing amazing today. Everybody loves. Oh God, hey buddy. Hey buddy. Got that quick little signature we talked about? I've been reviewing your application. It's quite thorough. Unfortunately. Oh, here it comes. It's missing form 1A-7 list of applying entities. I can't sign without it. What? We did submit that. I went over to the final draft myself. Um, maybe the previous, then we would have it. I, I want to choose the other one. I know the other way is the better way to go, but I have to keep honest. And this is killing me. This is killing me. This is our 112th Acknowledgement of Conquest. This is your first. You get what I'm saying? Just push it through anyway. Even if I wanted to, it's an incomplete application. All the Imp Ambassador would have to do is appeal, and it would be overturned. There's nothing easy in this place. All right, if we submit that again, do I have your word that you'll finally sign it? I... I will. 
fine, if that's all it takes. Just don't lose anything else while I'm gone. Mad roll. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break. Oh my gosh, what now? Hello, Judge. You know, I had a really nice time last night. Oh yeah. I hate to put you in this situation, but I'm afraid I'm out of options. I need to talk to you about that planet you mentioned. I know the reason he's submitting that Acknowledgement of Conquest application is to try and avoid our treaty. This isn't the first time they've tried to get out of it, you know. I know he's not happy with the treaty, but there's much we would improve, too. This treaty was supposed to bring our two civilizations together, but he feels like it gives him power over us. He holds it over our heads and makes us beg for what he already promised. It just never ends. Um, why don't you two go your separate ways then, huh? If only it were that easy. The funds the Bloons provide have been used to improve the Imp homeworld. Our economy has come to, at least in part, rely on the Bloons' contributions. If the Bloons were to abandon our treaty, the industries they fund would collapse. It would be disastrous. I have a plan that might force him to honor his word. I helped by us a little time earlier, but we'll see need to work quickly. Will you help me? What do you mean? What'd you do earlier? What? Wait a minute. Were you the ones that removed form 1A-7? For the sake of being honest, yes, it was at my behest, though it was my friend in licensing that actually did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Okay, well, I'm going to fire him. I hope he didn't get angry at you for that. I'm sorry if he did. I didn't know how else to stop it. Will you still help me? Absolutely not. I will. Of course I will. Depending on your plan. Okay. That's fair. In that case, let me make sure everything's ready before we go further. Um. Why do you even need a plan? He's already signed the treaty. Why don't I just force him to adhere to the terms? I'll explain that, I promise. I just need some time. This has been a long time coming. Goodbye, Judge, and thank you for letting me have dinner and steal that paper and get information that I shouldn't have. I'm going to take a nap now because nobody else. 5 p.m. Another day down. No. Oh, wait. It might be my grandma. Gotta answer that, right? Gotta talk to grandma. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, did it get louder? Hello. Judge, Judge! Oh, I'm so glad this number worked. I've been calling all over. I've run into an issue that just couldn't wait. The season finale of Friends Reawaken is starting. And I can't find the remote! Again, I've told the story last time. There's something about black households that share the same thing. You'd be sitting in your room, having a good time, watching your own favorite show, and suddenly you hear down the hallway, Jay! Yes, that? Come here! You walk into the room, hand me that remote. What the f- I- It's right there in front of you! You had- Ah! Anyway, what I'm saying is I understand this problem. Just use the channel buttons on the monitor itself. But that's so far away. Could you come down and do it? Oh, fine. Wonderful. And he likes us. I'll leave the embassy door cracked. And while you're down here, there's a few other matters that could use your attention. There are some items to be picked up from the launderers. Dishes that desperately need doing. Yep. And suddenly we became a slave. End of Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday. Hey! Sneaky, 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 sneaky person. Hello, Judge. I told you I would come up with a plan. So here it is. Just so you know, I'm only doing this because he forced my hand. His threats are getting worse, his scheming is more thought out, and his plans are getting sneakier. I believe if something isn't done to stop him, he'll eventually find a loophole that sticks.
For the long-term security of my people, I believe he must be taught a lesson. So, because he tried to steal our half of the planet, I believe he should lose his half. The full planet should go to the imps. Um, how would that work? This is the same application that the balloon submitted. I've just swapped out Form 1A-7 list of applying entities with a version listing the imps as the applicants. Is that not some low down dirty sh man? At least he'll kill you in your face. You going behind people's back, man. It's the friends. It's the friends you gotta watch. It would all be legal. Epsilon 5, Percy I-8, is already void of life. The acknowledgement of conquest is, well, just legal dibs. This is a complete application. Everything's ready. Will you sign it? <laughs> you think because you have a tail and you know how much I like tails that I'm just going to bend over backwards and listen to you. But I tell you what, I only did front words. Wait. What? No, nah, hell no. Nah. No, what I mean is, no, I will help you enforce your existing treaty, but I will not get in between you doing shady-ish. You won't learn anything that way. I'm worried that just won't be enough. But... I understand she even liked us for it like that's respect it was a lot of me to ask I'm blushing now if this is how you want to handle things I'll respect your decision thank you for hearing me out in any case I'll let you get back to your other business hello woodroom chief pork sorry pork made a mistake last time so pork gift gift to make up. What's the gift, buddy? What is a lovely- OH MY GOD! WHAT IS THAT?! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I played the game before. I knew that. But I laughed my ass off when I saw this. <laughs> Help me. Oh no. Pork forgot. Ground for ground food all gone. So pork thing. Maybe if Woodroom Chief tried tasty blue food, Woodroom Chief let pork keep eat. Water Pork put back wait before we get on that what me no ground I Have a child <laughs> Big water come in eat all ground uh, uh, <laughs> It's just as funny <laughs> I Love this scene. This is by far my favorite scene second favorite scene of the entire game. This is hilarious. Oh God, um Pork put back now. But Woodroom Chief would like. Pork can't eat. I can't eat. No one can eat other people, Pork. Uh, duh. Blue food not for eat. Pork's so stupid. Why can't Pork do anything right? Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. I don't want that kind of talk from you. You are not stupid. You are the best of all of us, okay? The best. You know where your parents come from? You know where your ancestors reign from? Godzilla. Do you know who that is? I'll tell you after lunch. Hold on. Pork can do right by putting blue food back. Okay. Pork can do. Pork will do right now. Thank you, Woodroom Chief. Yeah. Take that with you, because I'm, I'm not... I've got no use for that. That is crazy. I just... Oh, hey, buddy. What is on your head? That is paper. Okay, you wanted this, you got it. This is Form 1A-7? Yes, so if we can finally get this settled... I've decided you will only get half as per the original treaty. I've decided I will sign your application for the full planet. Neither of you have convinced me. You should know the Imp Ambassador has her own application. Now, I know the right answer to get a good ending. The problem is that is not the answer I chose. So we're going to keep it honest, even though it breaks my heart to see this play out again. I've decided you will only get half as per the original treaty. I enforce the, the law. I don't make it. So yeah, this is what kills me right here. This is it. What? Traitor. You gave me your word. Counter offer. It's not an offer. That's the ruling. Counter ruling. I drag you and her into the same room and keep you there until one of you sees reason. I said, I'll be back.
Really, really, really good. Well, that'll be the last I see of him, I'm sure. That cannot get any possibly worse. Hey! Good afternoon, Judge. What is it that you called for? Thanks for coming. I wanted to discuss the pork situation a little more. Oh, of course. Them again. You know my office is still waiting on an undelivered shipment of cinnamon imps, right? I suggested they try growing their own food. That isn't you, but the pork chief seemed to think that wasn't possible. Grow food? On what land? Is that a problem? You really don't know anything about this sector, do ya? He mentioned something about big water. Oh, it doesn't just start there. Their planet used to be a tundra. Some land, but mostly ice. The ground underneath was old and untapped, rich with hydrocarbons. Somehow they figured out what they are, how to find them, and how to burn them. Bad idea for an ice planet. The tundra is all melted. Nearly their entire planet is underwater now. The coolest, freshest glacier water you've ever felt. Um... Is that why y'all are swimming in it? Or what were they powering, huh? Well, is that why you guys are swimming in it? It's so good. Anyway, if that's all, I need to get back to telling other people to look for my mother. I turned my breathy pod around for one second and she must have wandered off somewhere. You haven't happened to see her, have you? Um, You should have got her back by now. What? Uh. <coughs> Found him, Chief. Here's your friend from Hootback. Your friend Foodback. Mama? Please be alive, please be alive, please be alive, please. Is that you, my son? My, you've gotten so blurry since last I saw you. Mama, get in the tank. The tank is very far. I would rather be put in the tank. Now, here's the funny thing. When you look at her, I thought this was part of her. I thought like this is like red intestines hanging down. And this was her. But that's not. She's actually more shaped like um uh, like that. Like that. So she's fine. You must get in the tank, mama. Even if the tank is very far. You have been out of the tank much too long. Bring the tank closer, at least. I would rather you get in the tank without me having to move closer. It seems like a lot of work. Is this how I taught you to treat your elders? Fine. I will get in the tank. Gross, 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 gross. The things I do for you. Okay, I... Goodbye. I have questions. Those nasty green teachers took me and offered- Did I say teachers? Those nasty green creatures took me and offered me to this man to eat. And you left her with them? What if he decided he wanted a snack? I feared if she wasn't returned immediately, she would dehydrate. I see. It was a very close call as is. In that case, on behalf of me and my mama, I thank you. Well then, I suppose I'll take my leave. Mama needs to be resettled. I'll send an escort with you to make sure everything goes smoothly, because I don't think you'll win in a fight with my big buddy, plus I'd back him up. That would be lovely. Thank you. Say thank you, Mama. Middle finger. Mama? <laughs> what? Nothing, sorry. You two should go now. Toodles! Really, 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 really. Hey, somebody come get that. Okay. Judge! Oh, we know who this is. Oh, here we go. Half isn't enough. Not anymore. 
Not ever again. It's gonna have to be. How are you, Ambassador? It's gonna have to be. Yep, this is it. But it's not! Commander, just drop it. This isn't doing anyone any good, including you. The judge has ruled. It's over. This isn't over until I say it's over. You listen here. Us bloons have followed the rules and more for years. No matter how much they hurt us, we keep doing things right. But we ask for one thing back, just one thing, and it's too much. We put more into this court and get less out of it than anyone else. That's just not fair, is it? Why not balance the scales just a little bit? So how about it? You want to think about your ruling one last time? Sure, Ambassador, do you still want the full planet? Now, if I say Ambassador, do you still want the full planet? He'll get the full planet. That's going to piss her off. And besides, I didn't say that last time. Last time, I looked at him dead in his one eye and I said... Nope. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Well, there it is. I am tired of these courts thinking they can do whatever they want whenever they want. You think you can push around the Bloon Empire? You think you can just beat me down over and over and not have me fight back? I've spent spikles, spikles, yes, spikles, because that's how we say it in our planet, spikles trying to make this work, to do things the right way. I pay my taxes, I follow your stupid rules of engagement, I wade through this incompetent bureaucracy, and for what? For this? Not anymore. If we can't solve this the right way, I'm going to solve it my way. The mightiest empire in the galaxy's way. War. Commander. Wait a minute. Whoa, hey, there's a solution here, someone. Let's try to find it. Sure. No more imps. No more fighting. We can take care of that. I'm coming for you. I'm going to take back everything you've taken from me, and then I'm going to take everything else. Now, if you two will excuse me, I have a war to win. Rolly, 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 rolly. I'm at a loss for words. Uh, we'll protect you. Thank you. I just don't know how you're supposed to. Space Court has authority over peacekeeping forces, but I don't even know what the hell peacekeeping forces are. Yeah! <laughs> The commander controls most of the galaxy and has it all fight it feeding into this war machine. Even if they did get approved, I don't know if they'd win. I'm sorry, I have to go and inform our homeworld at once. Yeah, y'all might want to move the homeworld because y'all in trouble. Please, if you come up with anything, let me know. I feel like all in all we did a pretty good- Oh, hey buddy. Handshake packet sent. Did you get it? Did you shake it? Send it back. Can I help you? You can judge yourself as well. Inquiry. Have your feelings of organics changed since we first spoke? Um, you know, uh, there's nothing I can't fix, huh? But you have peeked beyond the veil. You have seen the nature of organics. Bickering and strife. We can offer assistance. The time draws near. Near for making decisions. For shaping the world as you see fit. Our emissary is approaching. You will meet them soon. Um, who is your, your, uh, who, uh, I, who is your, who's your emissary? A friend of ours. Perhaps they will be a friend of yours, too. For now, we pass along a simple instruction. If you want your issues with the organics to be solved permanently, let them pass. Right, that's not ominous at all. Even the backwards roll with the red lights. Not ominous. But it's okay because we're at Thursday. You know what Thursday is? It's Thirsty Thursdays. We're going to go out tonight. We're going to have a good time. Half off on drinks. It's going to be lit. I can't wait. Adult fun. Judge, wonderful to see you again. I hope you've been adjusted well. Weren't you supposed to be checking up on me or advising? It's Thursday. I haven't seen you since Monday. Ah, you know how it goes. Just wanted to let you know we maybe have a teeny bit of a developing situation. Sh 
Should I be worried? Nah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be all fine. Yeah. I'll keep you in the loop, but for now, please continue with your duties like everything is normal. And maybe let your loved ones know you love them. Toodles! Oh, yeah! Oh, here we go. Good morning, Judge. May I ask why you called? Have you made any progress on the dead bug in the lunchroom light I space mailed you about? It was gross. We're waiting on someone else before we get into everything. Who are we? Oh no. My buddy, my pal, my friend, it's Porky. He's pork, I'm beans. Together we're pork and beans. Hello, Rude Room Chief. Hello, food. Why, what could this possibly accomplish? Thank pork, come, stay please, now long talk. What? <laughs> food dumb. You're dumb. We don't find a solution, floats will keep being eaten. Well, we're fine. What? This isn't something you really need to be so concerned with. We can handle this ourselves. God, you act like we need help with everything. We're fine. You haven't handled anything yourself since I got here. I see something wrong, you're acting strange. Me? You're the one with the weird fixation on this. Besides, being eaten isn't even half that bad. Uh-huh. Look, look, look I'll, I'll show you. Pork, nibble me. Pork not hungry. Just a teeny bite. Just to show the judge this is all very silly. Pork, do not nibble. Unless <laughs> his whole hand was coming <laughs> But you see my point. We're continuing. Pork first, because you're my buddy. I want to hear what's going on in your world. How bad is the food problem? Food, great. More food swim every day. Not blue food, other food. Oh, no other food. Big water, eat first. Uh. Pork have a carbon plant. How big is big water, bud? Big water, big! Eat almost all cold ground. No other food in big water besides blue food. Not that pork sea. Judge, ice planet. There were no oceans for live to life, for live to live, for life to what the hell's going on? For life to live in before this, all frozen. Again, there are many more productive ways you could be spending this morning than trying to get answers from these guys. Pork have carbon plants. Pfft, ha! Boring. Do they have carbon plants? What carbon plant? Like flower? See, even they don't want to talk about it. Big buildings make smoke, burn black goo from ground. Oh, what room chief means sniff huts? Yeah, yeah, poor cat lots and lots before big water eat. Why would room, would room chief ask? What are y'all using the sniffles for? Nice smells! Such lovingly simply creatures. Why not leave them to their silly habits? Why pork build so many? I think you're being very intrusive. You wouldn't want to offend a guest of the court, would you? Put in village, make village smell nice. So put on planet, make planet smell nice. How pork discover them? Judge, really, I insist. I thought you didn't want to talk. Well, I just... <laughs> pork has secret. Pork does not have secret. It okay, food. Wood room chief nice. We can tell. All the pork think pork chief makes sniff huts. That why they make pork chief pork chief. Of course they did, because Pork Chief is very smart. Yes, you're very, very smart, aren't you? Only the smartest pork could come up with all that by himself. Thank food. But Pork Chief tell Woodroom Chief secret. And not Pork Chief. Pork Chief make trick. Woodroom Chief, guess who did? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. You guys are real pricks. Well, I'm sorry. 
what would you do if you had all that amazing glacial water just sitting there waiting to be melted? Pretty sure I wouldn't terraform another species planet. What friend's talking about? Sniff huts caused big water. No, no, that's not true. Sniff huts can't cause big water. They just for smells. With lots of cold ground, they actually could. What room chief not supposed to tell fibs? And I know it, Fib, because because Blue Food says Flopes. It's Flopes. We are called Flopes. Not Blue Food, not Tummy Ticklers, not Grouchy Gobs, not Belly Boppers, or Shiny Whinies. F-L-O-A-P-S Flopes. How can you not understand that, you stupid, worthless, giant oaf? Stop it. That's enough. Can't even keep one lousy secret. All you had to do was keep your mouth shut and you'd be pork chief forever. But no, even that can't get through all that fur in your brain. Too mean, what pork chief ever do to you? Besides try to eat your friends and family. Order. And don't get me started on that planet of yours. You know how much water we have in our home world? A lake. No, sure, we call it the Royal Sea, but it's not, it's a lake. Do you have any idea what it's like trying to fit an entire civilization in a lake? And then to see you with a whole planet full of snow and ice. And all you do is poop in it. Like a big, stupid, gross baby. Stop it! Look at pork. Pork is powerful. Pork shakes building. Shut the hell up, slime. Alright. Easy there, big guy. Blue food fib. Blue food not pork friend. Blue food make big water come in. Well, what's the big baby gonna do about it? Go wah, wah, wah. What? Are you stupid? Pork, not big baby. Yes, you are, you big baby, because only big babies go wah, wah, wah. You stupid big baby. We're gonna die. This reminds me of the first time I was robbed in my life. Stupid people saying stupid things. <gasps> Roar! I'm gonna die. Blue food bad! Blue food mean! Blue food fib! Blue food trick! But pork make trick on you too! Blue food not even taste that good! That right. Pork just say you good taste because you were fried. But ground food was better. <laughs> pork is awesome. Leave pork alone. Blue food out of pork big water. Now! Or pork... Pull blue food out, and pork have biggest feast ever. What are you gonna do to fix this? Excuse me, that's your problem, you fix it. You sure you don't have anything more important for me to do? Well, since you asked. Fine, I'll work on this. Just get out of here and let me think. Wonderful. You're my favorite active judge, you know. Out. And out I go. Ta-da! Really, 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 really. Alright, I just need a moment to clean my mind and think about everything that's happened. And oh my gosh, there's always somebody at my damn door. Hello, Judge. I know by now you're probably tired of hearing from me. You could say that. I'm sorry, I just don't know where else to turn. I turn left, there's my tell. I turn right, there's my tell again. The commander is massing his forces all over the galaxy. I've spoken with him. He's serious. He's going to launch an invasion against our home world soon. You're the only one that has a chance at stopping him. Please. If he attacks, can you win? Uh, no. What can I do? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not really even sure why I'm here. I guess I'm just hoping you can work some magic. Do you have any other allies? The treaty we had with the Bloons was... An exclusive pact. We're alone. We just have the court. I just don't know what to do. I need to get back. If you believe in miracles, we need one now. Walk out.
Miracles. Miracles. Hey, buddy. Good news, I hope. Um, okay. So, there have been some developments. Is this my problem or your problem, Pilgrim? Oh, uh, a little of column A, a little column B, you know, intermix, C's, D's. But as judge, it's going to come down to you. Okay, dope. So, earlier this morning, we received a report of weapons of mass destruction being present on board. Here, like right here, right now. Yep, and yep, all of the above. Well, uh, we looked into it, and they are in fact weapons of mass destruction that could vaporize us at any moment. But they haven't done anything wrong yet, so we can't just arrest them. Have to wait for them to blow us up. You're not arresting them, you're confiscating them. Oh yeah, I skipped that part. They're sentient, all of them. Super self-aware, that means they have rights. Why are there self-aware bombs in my space court? I mean, probably the robots, right? They do this kind of stuff. Look, I'm not saying it's not a loophole, but it's what we're dealing with. Also, they're really nice, and I think a lot of us would feel bad. Advise me. Do your job. What am I doing? Certainly. One wishes to speak with you, so I took the liberty of making an appointment. Wait. You can come in now, sweetie. You brought a new kid. I love this. Look how cute this nuke is. Now, I will say, I don't do justice to its voice. Brianna, and if I had the video still, maybe I, I can still find it. I deleted it, but maybe I can still find it. I'll enter. I'll put in her uh, her doing the voice because she does a really cute voice uh, for this, this little missile. I'm ready. You're laughing. I'm still waiting for you to read it. Hello. Oh yeah, there it is. You brought a bomb in the space. Ah, let's just say hi. Hi. My name is Melissa. Oh, it's so cute. It's a new. Please be careful, Judge. She arms if you say Melissa. Begin countdown. Why did you just say? Please, listen to me, Melissa. I'm just... Melissa, stop countdown. Eight. No! Seven. <laughs> Melissa, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. I just need you to stop. Uh, it's in the manual someplace. Please stop countdown. Abort. Praise the robots. Pause. Bad Melissa. Praise the robots. Six. Wait, Melissa, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Stop the countdown. I just Five. want to... No! <laughs> I want to live, Melissa! Abort! Abort! Oh, God, Melissa, what are you doing? Melissa, I'm your friend! No! <laughs> Melissa, I'm not kidding! Bad, Melissa! Two. This is not working! She's counting as a fucking office! Pause? Right now we're just smiling at each other. So Okay, it's you. I love you. I I love you too. Um What are what are you? So cute! I can't help but love her. No, I mean, what are you? That's the fun-loving spirit who wants to see the galaxy. <laughs> Where to? <gasps> Anywhere. Where do you recommend? Oh my God! I can send it somewhere. <laughs> oh God! Heaven. Oh god. Um. Uh, 
Okay, well, there are those Pokeballs that have been causing trouble. Should I go blow Pokeball World up? How many count as we? I have a lot of friends. Let's see. I can't kill a whole civilization, can I? I can't. You can't go anywhere. What? Aww. I can't kill him. But why? You are a nuclear weapon constructed by beings who wish to see all organic life destroyed. No, you can't visit anywhere. Sending you to the balloons may not be a bad idea. Look, I can't. Is the balloons on? Oh, yeah, you bet. Look, no, you can't visit the balloon empire. Oh, man. But that makes me so sad. Does that activate you, or? What about the point? What is daylight coming? No, you can't visit the ports. I love the ports. I hate them, they're annoying as hell. But you know what? You can't visit them either. I suppose you won't let me visit the imps either. Wouldn't that be a twist ending if I said all of a sudden you can visit the imps? Leave the imps alone. Oh man. But that's just not fair. Oh, you're making me sad. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go back to the robot. Come on, stop making me sad, dude. It's your voice. It's your fucking voice. You're making her sad. Or you're making me feel shit. Hey, look, you gave it your best. I. They shouldn't have anything to be mad at you. Okay, mister. If that's how you feel. They're gonna take her apart. Let's send it to the the, the, the the balloons. The balloons. The balloons. You go to the balloons. I'm so sorry. You can go to the balloons. The voice, I got super, 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 super sad. She made it cute. Your lack of collaborative networking has generated a new sensation within us. Is this what organics call? <laughs> Disgust. I'm not going to help you destroy the galaxy. A galaxy in the hands of organics always peers into the maw of oblivion. You need only process the conflicts rising around you at this very moment. Final query. Why will you not join our cause? I can fix this without violence. I handle things myself. I can fix this without violence. Foolish organic. Organics will always fight. They will never know unity. You were provided a perfect troubleshooting solution and you outpasted it into the trash bin. I believe I meant to say cut pasted it into the trash bin. Your inputs are clear. Now, reap the outputs. Roll. I think he's mad at us. I do not think he enjoyed our decision. But that's okay. Friday, cause it's Friday. It's Friday. Kick back, relax. Wakey wakey, Judge. I'm afraid we have some issues to discuss. Please, I don't doubt it. I don't, I don't doubt it. A scarglot provided to me as an amusing pet sprayed ink in my office. I would like a replacement, office or scarglot. 
A doorman required two requests to open the door for me on my way down here. I'm not saying he should be fired, but I believe you should at least put out a request for CVs. Why would I want CVs? I want resumes, not CVs. And the ports have started crowding us into pins in preparation for a massive feast. How are you going to handle this? That you were going to handle it. Not my business. What you do with your life is your business. We need to try walking, talking to the ports again. And just what good is that supposed to... Oh, God. Good morning, Judge. Oh, hello, Lord Regent. Well, good morning, Ambassador. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have a matter to discuss with the Judge that's of the utmost importance. As do I. I'm sure you do. Believe it or not, he's telling the truth. Really? Yeah, I know. They, they, I know. Usually they suck, but oh, Judge! Well, hello, Ambassador. Commander. I'm excited to see you here. My forces are amassing as we speak. Any last words? Commander, please. Oh, great. It, look, guys. Where's my receptionist at? Two at a time. That was the max. Why is the death robot back in here? Header. Greetings. Three. Everyone. Oh, not this guy. Regardless of your previous infractions, our option still stands. The planet raisers remain on site, waiting your command. I'm sorry, the what? Is this one of your tin can tricks? I thought you lot couldn't build bombs. We assure the good commander that our actions are entirely legal. Judge, what is going on? Now, now, let's all remain calm. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for all of the- Hello! This good time? Oh. What fake friend doing here? I have an appointment. I say I because most of us only have one eye in this room. What is a big smelly baby doing here? Not smelly! I hate to interrupt, but- Oh! Oh! Blue food feast about to begin! Pork see if Woodroof, Woodroom Chief want to join. Yeah. But, since he's here, maybe Fake Friend can come too if he, he wants. He does not want. Fine! Will everyone please calm down? Excuse me, I've held my tongue, but I have to ask. Do the rest of you have appointments? I have an appointment. I scheduled it two day earlier. I meant to. I called somebody. They never responded. I never called them. I'm lying. If it's not, it's starting to get quite crowded. Analysis, section 27-3188 of the official Galactic Codex says, No appointment is required in times of galactic crisis. If you've got a problem with me skipping a line, why don't you tell it to my war machine? Uh, for one day, could you just not? What's your problem this time? But surely one who does have an appointment does still retain priority yes i'm about to take your appointment and quiet i don't know why his voice mixed with the robots <laughs> woodroom chief talking thank you pork now i understand you all have your issues yes 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 but we're only going to be able to work on this one at a time I personally want to take care of my best friends first. Their names are the Porks. You're up, Chief. Pork want Woodroom Chief have invite to Blue Food Feast. Pork give big honor seat. But only if Woodroom Chief want to. Uh, excuse me, Judge. Thank you. About the doorman. <laughs> Let's focus on the cannibalism for now. He's great. I, I can't help but like him, too. He's, he's annoying and great all at once. Oh, fine. One thing at a time. Something must be done, and so far you have done simply nothing to fix this. Are we talking about the doorman or this feast? I petition you. What are you going to do? Let's find a compromise. We're not so far gone that we still can't find a compromise. Something even better than a blue food feast. That possible? And definitely better than being eaten. We'll be the judge of that. 
but you need to work with me here, both of you. There's no point reasoning with him, Judge. Look, he's already stopped paying attention. Has he? Pork. 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 Why staring? Damn it, Pork, come on, man. Stay with me here. Please work with me here. You're both in terrible situations, and neither of you needs to be. What's the harm in just talking? Because we have to stay near this smell even longer? And Pork can't be nice to such a meanie. The floats should apologize, because I love the pork. So the porks are never wrong, and you kind of destroyed their entire planet, so... We can't move forward until the Flopes acknowledging past wrongs. Why should I apologize? He's the one who smells and is a cannibal. No, you. Now, isn't a cannibal something that eats its own species? Y'all are definitely not the same species. Unless my eyes have gotten really, 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 really bad. You know they wouldn't be forced into this position if you hadn't ruined their planet. The smell you're not wrong on. We didn't have a choice. We had no room. We spent our entire existence stuck inside a tiny prison. Do you have any idea what that's like? I'm stuck inside these four walls every day, all day. I don't, but the porks do. Because that's what you forced onto them too. Well, fine. I'm sorry. That better? A little. It's a start. Is there anything else you'd like to say back, Chief? And Pork, sorry for not eating. Oh, no, for eating your friends. That's right, I ate them. Pork didn't mean to be mean. Pork was just hungry. And your friends were just so slimy. I got it. Okay, now that that's over, what room chief have planned? I just hope you know if you want us to do something crazy, we're going to have to believe in you. This is what I'm thinking. The first time I suggested it, I don't think it went over well. I said you two should swap planets. However, based upon my previous choices, I know that he's not going to go for it because he doesn't trust me enough. He does trust me. He doesn't. So, instead, let's try to fix both of your home worlds, huh? Chief, the porks need food that isn't flopes. Short term, we can populate your new oceans with fish. Long term, let's import some CO2 scrubbers and see if we can turn some of that water back into ice. I heard the word fish. We put fish in water. Fish make more fish. Pork eat fish. Pork love fishies. Can they be tasty fishies? I don't see why not. Pork want fishy taste test to see what pork like? Because you know I'll do it for you. Pork do! Pork do want that! Uh, excuse me, Judge. What about us? You're a little tougher. Do you have any other lakes on your planet? No, we're dry as a rock. Hmm. Then the only other way would be to bring water to you. You want to... What? Yeah, take water from another planet and bring it to you. That's crazy. On the other tentacle, any water at all would be an immediate relief. But where would anyone find another planet willing to donate chunks of its oceans? Earth. Oh, right, the planet that we're swimming in right now. Yeah. Pork like this planet a lot. Pork get fishies out of it. Blue food can have as much big water as they want. All of it. Please, say yes. Please, 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 please. I don't know. That's quite a massive project. It would require a lot of oversight. And my schedule is a little busy right now. Friends Reawaken is going on a two-week straight run. I thought that might be the case. I'm afraid we need the court's assistance to make this feasible. Are you sure you can handle that? Hey, have faith in me. These are uncharted waters for us both, but something has to be done. All I can promise is I'll do my best. If that's enough for you, then let's proceed. 
Rep check. Flopes must like. Come on, Flopes. You like me. You like me. You like me enough for this plan to work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Liked it. You're at least better than the last guy. Now, I will say the reason I didn't know if he was going to like it or not is I didn't choose this choice last time. Yeah, I switched up a little bit. I will say this. It's still basically the same uh, ending. It's a good ending for them. Last time, what I chose is that they get to stay in his home world and they have to give us money to provide, excuse me, an endless buffet for them. He didn't really like it because that means his home world still stays water and they still get to stay there, but it worked. This option is still a good option, so I haven't really changed the outcome. I've just made it to where both people like it. So I'm rocking with this. Oh, fine. Let's give it a whirl. Yay! Fish, fish, fish. Because I tried also doing the first one where you um, have them swap worlds, and I it, you have to be really high with him to get it. I got him. I didn't get him. Fish, fish, fish. Best wood room chief ever. Phew. Disaster averted. Now, on to the next matter. This is where it gets interesting. About time. I'll listen, you bloons. You may proceed, Commander. All I need from this court is for it to stay out of my way. Got it? I'd like to speak. I don't know what to do here. I'm growing numb. Please don't let him do this. Big decision time. Check it out. Let's find a compromise. Judging by how you speak of each other in past tense, there was a time that you weren't at each other's throats. Maybe it won't work, but I'd like to try and, that fly, try and find that place again. Then perhaps we can make some progress in resolving this. Talk is all that's ever been done. More isn't going to help. It doesn't hurt to try, but I'm not very optimistic. Well, you better be, because it's your planet's ass in the line. It's why we have to handle this differently. You've talked and yelled and screamed, but how much have you listened? Hmm. What do you think needs to change? All right. Imps, I'm gonna need you to be a little bit more empathetic. I need you to rock with me on this because you guys have kind of been getting a really good deal and putting no work into it. So, regardless of whether or not you agree with him, clearly this is something that he's been frustrated by for some time. If you had been willing to listen to his problems, maybe even make some small concessions, it would never have gotten to this point. And now that we're here, you have to be willing to consider doing something drastic to make things right. Even if I do, he won't listen. She's right about that. The Bloons and Imps thrive together for cycles and cycles. The Bloon Empire has become the greatest superpower this galaxy has ever seen. And maybe the time for this partnership has passed and really is over. That's on the table. But the only way we can figure that out is for both of you to air your grievances. And for both of you to listen. Go on, Judge. No. Not the Judge. I'm going to listen, but not to the Judge. Oh. Okay. I want to listen to what you have to say for yourself. For myself? Alright, Commander. You have bloviated, screamed, pouted, everything short of throwing yourself on the floor and having a temper tantrum. You've made my life a waking nightmare, and what have I done back to you? Held you to your word? That's what I've done that's so evil. It's not just, I thought you wanted to listen. I have handled this entire situation with patience and integrity, because even though you decided to fight me at every turn, someone here still has to be an adult. Don't you want to listen to? Oh, you're right. I want to know. Please tell me when the creature I entered into this treaty with got replaced by this whining, petulant child. Sure. Let's let's piss off the guy who's going to blow up your planet. Really, I want to know. When did that happen? Tell me, why does everything with you have to be so dramatic? Why? Because I'm not happy. This isn't what I thought it would be. I wanted this. I wanted to do this with you. You made me feel like we were going to conquer the universe. But as soon as we signed that stupid treaty, I was just so young. And you knew it. You took advantage of me. I only signed that treaty because you wanted me to. I didn't understand what it would mean. I just wanted to work with you forever. But you never really cared about that. I wanted to do this together. But then you pulled away. Sounds like a marriage. You, your dirtiest trick. It wasn't a trick, you oaf. Don't lie to me! Not anymore, please. I'm not. I never did. When we signed that treaty, it was the happiest day of my life. 
All I wanted was to help this incredible, ambitious little creature achieve his dreams. But you changed. And then we changed. I don't know if it was the riches, or the power, or the stress, or the sex, I mean the stress. But your work consumed you. You stopped talking, your jokes turned to court statements. And one day, you stopped being you. I had my own duties for the imp home world I could accompany I could occupy myself with. So eventually I did. It was the stress. Judge. A compromise is well intentioned. But you're asking us to put aside cycles of frustration and mistrust. If this is going to work, we're gonna to have to believe in you quite a bit. With that said, if you have a suggestion for a compromise, we'll listen. Here's the problem. This is where this is this is the issue. Based off my choices, I knew that I could make him trust me more. But I chose the same thing from last time because I want to keep my honesty. Uh, I want to play my keep my playthrough honest. I think I pretty much did that. We'll try again and we'll see if something happens differently. You should get back together under the original treaty. We will have the planet and the original treaty will stand without changes. I don't think that's going to work. There will be one difference. This time, both of you will have to follow the spirit of the original treaty, not just its legal aid. That means, I don't know if that was the right word, legal aid. That means the balloons can't turn on the imps, and the imps can't abandon the balloons. But the only way this has a chance is if you both are completely on board. Will you be? I don't think what you're saying is impossible. And I never had any issue with the original treaty. But you're right. It can't work if we aren't both in 100%. Let me tell you something. He is not going to agree with me for Jack. In fact, it wouldn't even be worth trying. Commander, the origin original treaty can work. It did for a time. I'd like to start over and see if we can be like we once were. So I'm willing to try again. But only if you are too. What happens if things turn sour again? If in a cycle we're right back to fighting. That's happened once too. Hey, have faith in me. I'll be here for the long haul. If you two ever have problems again, don't fight. Come to me. I'll be here to counsel. And I'll do my very best to not let that happen. Bloons must like. How much do the Bloons like me? Oh, not at all. They hate me. If we were really buddies, then this might work. But we aren't. I understand. Then we have to try something else. So that's not going to work, which means, hey, you two need to leave each other alone. Go away. Get some time. Sleep with other people. I heard the fish in the tank is open. The treaty should be completely dissolved. The imps won't receive any more support, but the balloons won't have any more reason to come after you. Neither of you should have much contact with the other, which is the easiest way to avoid any future conflict. Now, this is the plan that I like the most. This one makes the most sense because they have been mooching off the balloons. Now it's time for you guys to find your own way. You should say your goodbyes here. And then that should be it. Maybe that's best. Judge, I appreciate where you're coming from. But that's a huge risk for my people. Are you kidding me? What? They are going to blow you out of the sky, ma'am. I don't know if I can accept that. What is the alternative? Death? It was Sapo or. Yes. If you do this, we'll leave you alone. You have my word. That's huge, obviously, but avoiding a quick demise doesn't mean much if we just perish slowly instead. It means you don't die now. It means you have time to figure something out. Stop being... Oh my gosh. I just don't know, Judge. That's a huge adjustment made very quickly. What if it's just too much? Isn't there a better way? Hey, have faith in me. Look at everything I've done for you. Just believe in me. Just for the love of God, believe in me. All change has reason to be frightening, especially change as large as this. But the court won't leave you high and dry. There will be an adjustment period, and I'll be here to help guide you through any issues you face. It's time you both moved on. Deep down, I think you know that. You just have to trust me that I won't abandon you. All you gotta do is trust me. Are we in a trustworthy enough position to do this? Come on. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. There's just too many unknowns. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I can't exit into a situation like that. I have to believe there's something better. Let's keep trying. So again, I know what's going to happen with this last one. There's no reason you two can't stay friends. Neither of them are going to work for me. 
she's cool with it he's not cool with me so he's not gonna be cool with it which is gonna lead us to our final option of never mind i don't see any solution what pisses me off is this one works i have to like i don't even know what i have to change to basically make her love me to agree to that plan but that's so stupid that she'd rather die than agree to my plan hey try and stay friends just so y'all can see all the options i'll play this one too the treaty has run its course and should be dissolved the balloons won't be required to provide any more support and the imps won't have to put up with them neither of you will have any more legal mandate to interact with each other at any level but that doesn't mean you have to leave each other's lives completely if the balloons need help planning an invasion the imps can be there if the imp economy hits a downturn the balloons can offer to lend a hand you two made it work for a time before the treaty and it worked well having the opportunity to help each other when it's mutual and not because you have to could be good for you and who knows maybe someday you'll decide you'll want to enter into a treaty again but in the interim you can move towards that at your own pace with nothing pushing you forward beyond yourselves i don't hate it it would remove a lot of pressure i don't know judge i'm so sick of you what do you not know this isn't about you do you want to blow up or not do you want to bl look at do you want to blow up or not that's a major shock to our economy that's a lot of risk i mean she's pissing me off all over again if you do this you can have epsilon 5 really yeah i mean it's just a planet i can always get more like i was gonna get yours think of it as sort of a severance package it would help you stay on your feet during the transition now i guess i don't hate it because you're greedy that's all it is she just wants more stuff thank you for the offer commander but this is still a lot to process yeah and let me ask you something judge see you had to say something if they can't figure it out is she just going to be able to pull some legal trickery on me i've worked too hard to lose everything hey have faith in me why not i'll be here to help both of you during this transition and i'll also make sure neither of you are taken advantage of you don't have to love me all you have to do is believe that i can litigate this as a neutral party yeah okay that's a no and that is a hell yes but unfortunately it doesn't matter because he's a no i tried it's her it's literally her fault well done you screwed yourself goodbye your planet if it were a different judge maybe but not you don't give up there has to be something there's literally nothing that's all of my options so guess what i don't see any solution I guess we're too far gone all i have left is anger don't give up don't do anything drastic i'll come back to you scheduled reminder please destroy something let's recap porks and floats we agreed on a compromise we'll work on fixing both of your home planets and then both of you will stop bothering each other we will agree to that but only because it's you judge Orc do too. Interest vector rapidly approaching zero. Moving on. Loons and imps. We've tried to find a compromise, but now I don't know what to do. May we make a suggestion? I know what you do. Now you get out of my way. Let me take care of something that's been a long time coming. I'm out of options too, Judge, because you screwed yourself. I don't think I can bring myself to ask you to do this, but... We only have one hope. Now we can bomb both of them. Get get rid of both of them. You're annoying because you want to kill everything. Actually, you're taking over half the galaxy and a superpower. I really don't like that. I feel like we should kind of knock you down a peg anyway. Or we can go and bomb the imps who are just like, just, just, what do you call it? Just hungry, money hungry, moochers, and lazy. So... I'm going to have to go with my original decision again. Or should I just bomb the balloons? What are we thinking here? Alright, so it just seems unfair to bomb the balloons because they have been trying to do things the right way and they've just been getting screwed in a really bad deal. She went behind them, stole a paper that should have allowed him to continue to do... I mean, allowed him to own at least one planet. At the same time, he was not listening to the original treaty... They don't all deserve to die for being lazy, but I gave you a compromise and you chose not to help with it. So I'm going to bomb. Uh, 
Oh, but that means we have to kill kill those. Ugh, neither. We're a judge. I'm sorry, Ambassador. I just can't do it. Judge. And there it is. The Bloon Empire thanks you for your neutrality, Judge. My troops will be at your world very soon. Don't worry. It will be so fast you almost won't believe it. Judge, please. I'm moving on. Okay. Our plans. Our work. Shattered by the whims of a filthy organic. Do not organics feel shame. I'm going to keep the guests for now. You're not going to keep those. Who knows? May might be useful in the future. Well, that's ominous. Yes, yes it is. Don't piss me off. Processing. Processing. This is acceptable. Progress. Until we meet again. Nobody pissed me off. Nobody gets blown up. Well, that about wraps things up here. Goodbye, Judge. Goodbye, Ambassador. Goodbye forever. Don't return to your home world unless you want to be vaporized. Rolling. I let this happen. You did. I felt everyone. And now, I have nothing more to say. You did that. <coughs> Next time, side with me. You'll have to excuse me as well. I have to find someone capable of preparing an adequate wish list for my upcoming spawn day. But I cannot wait to see your renovations, Judge. And you have no idea how much I appreciate you running point on this. If all courts were like this one, things might actually get done. Toodles! Rolly, 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 rolly. My boy Pork, my last homie. Uh, and Pork, go look at fishies now. Woodroom Chief, want anything? I'm good. Thanks. No problem. You know, Pork call Woodroom Chief Woodroom Chief. But Woodroom Chief more than Woodroom Chief. Be Woodroom friend. Okay, bye. Hey, we do what we gotta do, man. At the end of the day, she kind of killed herself. We try. We can't just go bombing places because they don't want to listen to us. Like, that is... It's kind of like how the government's kind of acting right now. When something's not going their way, we respond with force. And I'm just not with that. So, great work this week. Thanks. At least the floats will live another day. Oh, yes. Wonderful. But we're still coming for the imps. What happens now? Well... First, the imp home world gets destroyed. And that's about it. Ah, uh, whatever. That's the spirit. You know, when I first rode in and saw you behind that desk, wide-eyed and gavelous, I knew you had potential. And now, before my very eyes, you fulfilled it. <laughs> You've become a true... You're a carrot. 5 p.m. See you Monday! I quit. Nope. Nope. I quit. I don't have a phone either. This better be somebody. This better be that. Uh, that better be. Uh, what's her name? Um. What's it? She's an imp. What's her? What's the imp's name? Should we even answer? Oh, who is it? Hello. Judge. Please forgive my intrusion. I know you're about to begin your weekend. I simply want to thank you for your exceptional efforts this week. Because of you, our people will have a planet we can be proud to call home. Why, I could even forgive you for still not having done anything about that atrocious decor in the Welcome Center. Is that all? Well, since you asked, there's a few teeny tiny other issues with which we appreciate your assistance with. There seems to be a lack of toiletries within bathroom 4B. I don't use them, but it sets a bad impression. I recently purchased a decorative hat that was not to my liking, so I would like you to look into this chargeback policy I've heard of. Our recent close contact with those filthy porks has introduced a communicable parasitic disease among our people that is uncourse to cause our complete extinction. Why, the list goes on. I'll get right on that. Oh, thank you all. Space the space the space the court. Go space court. Go space court. Go space court. It's space court. Do do do. Love space court. Oh boy. You know how it is. We're gonna let this uh music and creators pass us by. 
and then uh, once it's all done we will have our final thoughts and then oh wait no it's the end already thanks for playing no thank you for allowing me to play we killed your society but everybody else is happy hey missy bye missy oh it's melissa not missy adios all right this seems like the perfect screen to give our final thoughts of our first under five game playthrough uh, Space Court, as you can see here on Steam, is $4.99 to be exact. I mean, minus tax, but it's $4.99, you know, by itself. So, the point being, I love this game. Like I said, this is my second time playing, and I had just as much fun playing it as I did the first time. The characters, man, the, um, uh, what is it? What's his name? The dude floating in the, uh, tank. Um, oh, man, I, it, not the imps, but the, uh, we just, the, um, not the blooms, the imps, the blooms, the porks the robots and the i don't know why i can't remember what his species is called but anyway oh flopes yeah the flopes man that was killing me the flopes are hilarious man they're you know they're, we all know that one person that complains about every little thing and expects help in every little thing that they do but he never comes off to too much annoying it's just hilarious how he kind of plays out actually and then melissa the nuke oh man one of my favorite characters like i said hopefully this was the playthrough that i was able to find brianna's uh take and put her in there because i think she does a really cute voice for melissa that just makes it that much more sad when she can't visit the planets and blow them up uh porky my dude pork man pork meister giant lizard i'm assuming on the other side of that peephole really well done character you know he's one of those simple guys that you just love to be around because he makes life fun entertaining straight to the point straight shooter and then there's the sad story of how it ended between the bloons and the imps but you know what at the end of the day i feel like what makes space court great is that it doesn't have to be a good ending it's a true story not all stories have a happy ending and this one just didn't there was a world that had to be blown up because there wasn't a compromise that could be reached and it kind of deals with the whole idea of morals and the gray area and law and how it should be worked. It's the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. And I just kind of took it as, all right, we're going to go by the letter of the law. I can't do anything. I can't blow up a whole civilization for another civilization because you won't compromise on letting them be free of their contract. So I'm cool with my ending. Uh, again, I kind of, like I said, I wanted to play through again and switch the ending, but I felt it wouldn't have been honest to the first playthrough that was way too loud because once again my only complaint with this game is that the music is just super 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 loud and although it's fun and enjoyable it can become grating on the ear um but yeah i would play anything by this this company again because i said i really really loved it and for our first introduction into our five under five series this was a strong start and i'm super excited to see what the next game is going to be uh, i want to thank you all for tuning in to watch this video playthrough again i am jay wright and i will see you all in the next video so really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah Now it's all just you got me on blast, yeah. You're over it, I've been done We're so toxic, can't get enough Ooh, I'll go and say it like a mantra You know what you want, do ya? Ooh, hell no, I won't bleed the monster No matter what you tell yourself